But if I had to give a couple of tips, I would say, first of all, don't talk about things on YouTube, but actually show them. That's one of the most important things. There's a ton of people like sitting in front of the camera and <clears throat> like saying, let's take that dopamine detox example, just saying, hey, these could, like these are the benefits of doing a dopamine detox and you're um, going to be less distracted, you're going to be mo more focused and maybe they have some nice overlays um, of, of some videos, but it is completely different to actually like showing the people what it is like um, because then they actually feel like they went through the same thing and then they know, okay, this is actually interesting and I could apply this to my life. Um, so that's one thing. And obviously when it comes to the whole structure of the story, there's a lot of things that I learned throughout the last uh, months and years of how to just hook the people in the beginning, how to slowly build up tension to have a first peak, then to have kind of like a fallback of where something, I don't know, bad happens. And then having like the, the peak where everything kind of like turns to the better again, at least that's kind of like the tension for most of the videos. Um, and there's like, yeah, there's just different parts to storytelling. Um, for me, storytelling on YouTube is different to storytelling in cinema movies. It's uh, actually something that bothers, bothers me a little bit when it comes to uh, creating YouTube videos, uh, that there's, there's so many content on the platform that you just kind of have to take, like you, you kind of have to make use of these dopamine hits to actually have people watching your videos. Um, that's something that annoys me a little bit because you have to have a very engaging, uh, super fast cut intro, um, or else people are just going to leave because we're just used to that overload of information, you know? Um, but yeah, still, I would much rather create videos which go a little bit towards that direction, at least in the beginning, uh, rather than not having those people watch my videos. And... But when it comes, yeah, storytelling, there's like, there's so many different things. It's about how you film the different, uh, the different scenes. It's how you plan out the whole story. One big game changer for me was when I uh, got a program called Notion. It's a free software. Uh, only if you get higher plans, it costs something. And there I just kind of like created my own workflow when it comes to um, planning and scripting videos. And that was a game changer for me because in the beginning I was always like, okay, I want to like tell these great stories and I want to um, like show other people what I, what I care about, but actually like kind of like putting it on paper, writing down that script in a software or on your, yeah, in a software is actually better. Um, that just really helped me because then I see the different points, the different chapters I want to talk about. Then maybe I can rearrange some things because, okay, maybe like, this could actually work better at the end because then the tension is higher. You know, there's like so many different things that you realize if you actually see it in front of you. And um, yeah, so I would say start scripting if you don't already. Um, watch a lot of other YouTubers who you think are good at storytelling and look how they film different things and just create a lot of videos because it's not something it's 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 with every craft in the whole world uh you will learn nothing just through theory but you have to do it over and over again i think by now i created i, I i'm not exactly sure but probably around 100 youtube videos also for that other person and you just have to do it over and over again and you will learn more and more things because you just learn one thing and then next time you do it again and next time you do it again and then it just becomes second nature you don't even think about it and then you can focus on other aspects um so when i go into my editing it's just already my workflow is i just did it so many times that it's just normal for me to do these things um so it's just like a lot of practicing and watching the people um watching watching your favorite youtubers with a different perspective actually think about why he does the things he does